Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we'll be talking about UV isolation. So I have this texture that I've imported that has numbers going from zero to 24 with five rows and five columns. And I wanna be able to isolate the zero and then be able to move from zero to one. When we're multiplying UVs, normally we look at it like scaling or tiling a texture, but a better way to think of it is we're limiting the range. So in our UVs, we basically have a coordinate system, zero, zero, to one, one. And when we multiply them by one, we're saying stay the same. And say we made this 0 0.2, we're limiting the range. Now we're going from 0, 0 to 0 0.2, 0 0.2. And say we did two, what we're saying now is that we're gonna go from 0, 0 to 2, 2. We're limiting or expanding the range. Now with multiply, I can work out that 0 0.2 is the decimal value that I want to divide all these UVs up but it would be a lot easier if I just divide and then I can divide my UVs into the amount that I want. So I'm gonna divide by five instead of multiplying by 0 0.2. Now right now for this texture, we're dividing the X and the Y by five. If you wanted to be able to control them separately or if you had an irregular texture or the grid of the texture was actually something like five by seven, you would wanna divide the X and the Y separately. So we would add a vector decompose and then we would add a scalar divide for each of them. And then you would divide each of these by the rows that you have and the columns that you have. In this case, they're both the same. And then we'll compose them back together and we'll plug that into the UV. And now once again, if we wanna offset it, we wanna add an add and a scalar to that add. And what you notice is the way that we're hooking it up now, this will drive the X and the Y at the same time. So as we push this up, we're not gonna be able to move it the way that we want. We want to control it independent. So we want to control the X and the Y separately. So before the vector compose, we have an add for the X and the Y. And now we can move from zero to one. Or we can move from zero to five. All right, guys, that covers visual shaders and UV isolation in Godot 3. If you thought this video was useful and it helped, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks, guys.